Hello, Internet Development Technology students. This is Francisco Rodriguez, your instructor for this IDT class at El Centro College. I'm going to show you in this quick video how to delete a database from your server. First, I'm going to sign into my control panel. For that, I'm going to first check out my page. It's F, if I can spell it correctly, it's F Rodriguez. Dot we are ITT .com, just like the ones that you already have. Um, to go to the control panel, I'm going to go to the end of the uh, domain there, the URL, and put a, a slash and type in the word cPanel, C P A N E L, control panel basically. Press enter to accept, and then it's going to ask me for my password. I'm going to use the same username that I use for my FTP account. Mine is shortened to eight characters, so I'm going to use the whole name and then my password. And I'll log in. This is the same password that you use in FileZilla or even in Dreamweaver if you're already up to that point. Next, I get the actual control panel. I'm going to scroll down to find my databases. And there's my databases area here. If you use it long enough, you're going to have a frequently accessed area shortcut on the left side that you could also click. I'm going to find my SQL databases. I'll click on that. Gives me the option to uh, right away to create a new database, but since I'm getting rid of one, I'm going to uh, do a new WordPress install, so I want to get rid of the old one. I'm going to find that database, and usually for your accounts, you have access to only one, so be sure that you're absolutely certain that you want to delete it. Currently, you know, if you delete this database, that's it, it's done, it's gone, there's no backup, there's no way of getting it back. You would have to rebuild it completely. So I'm certain that I want to delete it, I'll click on that. It asks me again, are you sure? And I'm going to say, yes, delete that database, please. Well, I didn't say please, but it still did it for me. The system successfully deleted the following databases. I'll go back. It shows me my current SQL, my SQL databases, and I have none. So that was simple enough, I hope. And uh, please, if you do have any questions about how to create a database or delete a database, check out the other videos in this series or uh, send me a message at the uh, at the email that uh, is provided to you on eCampus. Thank you.